Hi boys and girls, it's Jilly. It's Wednesday, so that means it's time for art class. Today is dress like the person you want to be when you grow up. If you can look at these pictures, there's Pablo Picasso with his cat in his striped shirt. There's Jilly in her striped shirt with her cat. That's what I dressed up like today because I wanted to be an artist when I grew up. Okay, boys and girls, today is also Earth Day. So if we were at school right now, we would be painting what we see, which is one of the things that we love to do. I'm just finding the picture to show you. So do you remember when we planted daffodil bulbs so we could grow a garden at Bethlehem Children's School? I went there the other day and took a picture. Look at the beautiful daffodils, boys and girls. That's what we're painting today. If you look very carefully, you'll see some brown in the background. The brown is the mulch that we put down. Then there's a tall green stem. There's some leaves around it and a yellow flower. So that's what we're painting today. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you'll need is a paint palette. We'll start with some beautiful yellow paint. Here comes the yellow paint. I'm gonna pour a little extra just in case I need more. Now, for the first thing we're doing is the background. That's the mulch, that's brown. Do you remember how we make brown? With the primary colors, that's right. Yellow, red, and blue. Pour a little bit of blue in the paint palette. Pour a little bit of red right on top of that blue. Here comes the red. And you guessed it, a little bit of yellow right on top of that red and blue. In a minute, we'll stir it up. Okay, if you remember, we have to paint some stems. There's our green paint. If you don't have paint at home, you can always do this project with your oil pastels or your markers. A little bit of a drip. Okay, I'm gonna move that one over. I'm going to put a little bit of orange in in case I want to make the yellow just a smidge darker. I'm going to put that right next to my yellow. Just a little bit, just in case. And here's the white. In case I want to make a little bit of light yellow or a little bit of light brown for the mulch. Okay. There's all the colors that we need. You'll need a flat brush like we use at school. Remember, those come out in a rectangle. You'll need a fluffy brush for some smushing. And you'll need a medium brush for the flower petals. Okay. Okay, here's our picture again. The first thing we're going to make, boys and girls, is the background. Remember the blue and the yellow and the red? There they are. I'm going to stir them up. Stir, stir, stir until I get, oh, so cool. Definitely got some brown. If you look very carefully, if you think about mulch, and look very carefully. It's kind of like rectangle shapes. So I'm gonna do some rectangle. And it's okay if the brush runs out of paint because you don't want a very, very dark background. I'm doing some little brush marks all over the page. And because it's a close up of a daffodil in our garden at the front of our school, 
you can see the whole background. So here I go. If you're using oil pastels, you could use your brown oil pastel or a tan oil pastel, and you could have it on its side and you could go like that. But for us, we'll just keep going, keep going, keep going to cover our background. Do, 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 do. See how it's not very dark, boys and girls? So you don't need a lot of paint on your brush. And if you get too much paint on your brush, you can just pick it up off the page and spread it out that way. Did you notice how I'm going side to side? Which is kind of how I see the mulch, like pieces going side to side. What do you do? What do you do? Okay. I think that looks good for now. All right. Although I do notice, boys and girls, if you look very carefully with your artist eyes, the mulch toward the front of the picture, down near the bottom, has a little bit of light. I'm going to take just a smidge of my white paint, just so very little, and do a little bit of white down here to make some lighter mulch. That's probably where the sun was shining when I took my picture the other day. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to wash my brush because I need it again. Here I go. Washing, washing. Tap, tap, tap. And dry. We're not using watercolor, so it really needs to dry off. Now, if you notice, our flower is near the top of the page. Did you notice I have my board going up and down or vertical? Because I want the flower, whoops, whoops, to really show up. There we go. Okay. If you notice, there's one, two, three triangles near the top, and one triangle at the bottom, one triangle, and then a round curve. So let's work on that. I'm going to take my nice dry brush and my beautiful, you got it, yellow paint. I'm going to start hmm, right about here. I'm going to make a curve. There's my curve. And I'm going to do my next little triangle comes out this way. It kind of curves up. There's the bottom of my daffodil. And the same thing on this side. Kind of a triangle shape. Kind of a triangle shape. Now, if you notice, after that triangle and that triangle, you might have to do two coats of the yellow. It goes right into a very big triangle right here with kind of curved edges, curve and curve. There's one. And if you look over on this side, same thing, curve and curve. I really wanted to pick a daffodil to bring and show you but they were so beautiful in our garden at school that I didn't want to pick one. Okay, next comes the middle of our triangle. I'm gonna go up, this one's a little taller, and down. Now, when that dries, I'll probably give it a second coat so it's super, super yellow. If you look very carefully, there's a circle at the bottom that's a little bit darker. That's where the orange comes in, boys and girls. Here I go, just a small teeny bit of orange. That may be even too much. I'm going to mix it right here. Yeah, it's too much. So I'm gonna take some more yellow and mix it around. I think that looks 
looks good. That's where my circle is going to go. Now I notice that the circle starts on this bottom and is right there. Can you see how the orange makes it just a smidge darker than the rest of the yellow on my daffodil? There I go. There's the middle. And now this time, boys and girls, I'm painting in a circle. Circle, circle, circle. There's the center of my daffodil. And I noticed this. I notice there's a little bit of texture coming around the edge of the daffodil. Let's try it. That's a really fun way to give some texture. Okay, now I'm going to go back and get more yellow on my paintbrush so that I can really make sure that the yellow of the petals meet the yellow going around. There we go. This time I'm doing little brush strokes like this, which look like how the daffodil center grows. So I'm looking really carefully. I don't want a big orange circle. Now I notice that this might need to be a smidge bigger. This might need to be a smidge bigger. There we go. Okay, I think I kind of like that daffodil. I might bring the bottom down just a smidge and then use my brush up, 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 up. There's my daffodil. I notice that now is the time to do the stems, boys and girls. I'm switching to this brush, and if you look very carefully, the stem comes right down from the middle. So here I go. Now I'm using my green paint, and I'm coming right down from the middle. It's not quite straight. It kind of goes right into that dirt of our mulch. There's that stem. And I notice the stem is kind of thick. Here I go. Now I notice some leaves are coming out kind of crooked. I'm going to do a little bit of a crooked line. Little bit of a crooked line. For one leaf. Oh, I see another one going right up this way. Little bit of a crooked line, a little bit thicker. There I go. And now I can hear Connor Vaughn again and Paigey and Oakley. Can we, and Hadley, can we start painting? Pretty soon, guys. Okay, here I go. There's another leaf. There's another leaf. Oops. And I noticed, boys and girls, on my picture, that some of the leaves are coming right up next to, ah, I got something on my phone, the petals. So I'm gonna go up to the petal and stop. Did you say I went up, up, up and stopped and I pick up my brush and I go just like that. So that makes it look like it's growing behind the petal. See how that is? Up, 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 and then stop. I also noticed, boys and girls, there's another plant, might be a tulip starting, right down in that corner. So that one's kind of a little triangle shape. I'm gonna draw that. This is really painting what you see. I wouldn't have thought of putting a leaf in the side of my painting, but that's what I spy with my little eye. So there's one leaf, there's another one. Boys and girls, if you want to find a flower at your house, you could paint what you see at your house. Oh, and then down here, there's kind of, you know what I think is growing down there? I think it's going to be a dandelion. I know some people don't like dandelions, but I think they're very pretty. 
And they're just like, it's kind of like a star shape starting. Kind of the beginning of something. And I noticed this is a little thicker than how I have it. So I'm gonna give it a little more of a stem. And then I noticed there's some more stems going this way, like maybe behind that one, there's some more flowers growing. Yeah, I think we're getting pretty close. So there's my close-up picture of a daffodil. All right, boys and girls, that is the end of our painting project today. There's our daffodil, oh, there's something. Daffodil at Bethlehem Children's School and a daffodil that you can paint. I hope you enjoyed. Please send your pictures of your daffodil.